All right, guys, welcome to seventh grade lesson 28. Let's start off with the first question. First question is asking for every two roses in a bouquet, the florist arranges three tulips. The total number of roses and tulips in all bouquets is 240. So, in this problem, it's asking how many tulips are in all bouquets. All bouquets is 240. So, as we can see here, if we think about this like a ratio, that means uh, roses is 2 to 3. But then, if we think about it in another way, every 5 flowers, right, because 2 plus 3 is 5, every 5 flowers, there's 3 tulips. So if you think about it in this format, right, then we've got a very uh, interesting thing. So as you can see, a ratio is the same thing as a fraction, right? Well, it's not exactly the same thing. It doesn't mean the same thing, but you can use it as a fraction. So three to five can be changed so that it's three over five. Now, this, this looks a lot more familiar and more easy to look at rather than some random thing with a colon, random two numbers with a colon in between. So then if we think about it that way, then we get what is three-fifths? That means uh, what is three-fifths of 240? So first, let's divide 240 by 5. We've got 48. Uh, so we get 3 times 48. And in the end, that would equal 144. So your answer for this would be B. So the key for this question that you need to remember is that basically if you're trying to find tulips, uh, you do however many tulips there are out of the total amount of flowers there are in one of these units. However, if you're looking for roses, you do the same thing, just 2 to 5 instead of 3 to 5. So yeah, basically total minus however many it, it, there is in the total, uh, and then you can find your answer. Number two, if x equals 2 to 3, x to y equals 2 to 3, and y to z equals 6 to 5, what is x to y to z? Okay, so we can see that there's one common thing right here uh, in between these two. So between these two, there's one common letter, and it's y, right? y is the common letter so a uh, variable so in this one in this ratio y is equal to three and in this ratio y is equal to six that can mean only one thing that y is y y is the same thing it's just that in relation to x or z it changes because it needs to proportionately uh, adjust so we can just simply proportionately adjust ratios to each other and if we want x to y to z it's not gonna so this six here is double this y right but if you try to half this five you'd end up with an ugly fraction you'd end up with a two and a half or a five over two we don't want that because all the answers are whole numbers right so all we need to do here then our only option is to double this whole thing so then you'd end up with 4 to 6, and then you're trying to combine it with 6 to 5. There's only one common number here, 6 and 6, so you get 4 to 6 to 5. And guess what? The answer for that would be D. Next question, number 3. Ariana put $100 in her bank that pays 10% compounded annually. How much money will Ariana have in her bank after two years? So 10%, it says compounded. So that means it's compounded annually. So every year it compounds 10% of whatever's in there. Uh, so two years, meaning the first year it's at 100, it adds 10% of that. And then the next year it adds 10% of X, which is whatever this is. So this is equal to X, right? And it's x plus 10% of x. So this might seem a little complicated, but basically what I'm saying is uh, you'd add 
I'll just show it to you in math. So what is 10% of 100? 10 is a 10% of 100. So you get 10 plus 10, or 100 plus 10 to you for the first year, right? So you get 110. But then uh, the next year, for the second year, it adds another 10% to this. So a 10% of 110 would be 11. So you get 121 because after you add 11, you get this. So then your answer for this would be 121. So how does that work? So you get 100, you're at, you start at 100, then you add 10%, but it says it's compounded, right? So compounded means it's putting on to it again and again, but it, there isn't like a specific change. So if it was a non-compounded uh, adding 10%, then it would be like, it's only adding 10 bucks every time. So even if even if the value of the the whatever's in the bank is changes, it doesn't matter. It's always going to put ten percent of one hundred. But here it puts ten percent of the current value of however money you have. So that's why you get one hundred twenty one instead of one hundred twenty. So this is not it. It has to be. Um, it has to be one hundred twenty one. Okay, number four. The balance of Peter's bank account is negative twenty dollars. How much money does Peter need to deposit so that the balance on his statement is zero? So this is a uh, very simple. So if you have negative 20, how much do you need to make it zero? Um, if you want to do this mathematically, I mean, this is very logical. 20 uh, minus 20. If we think about it as a minus sign, 20 minus 20 equals zero. So, uh, yeah, so then so then you just like so your answer is obviously C twenty. So how to explain this would be like if I gave you an apple, right? And in order for me to have the same amount of apples as before, how many apples do you need to give to me? You need to give me one apple so that I can have the same amount of apples as I did before I gave it to you. So from in, if you think about it this way, then let's say Peter Peter's bank statement has, he has given away $20 to somebody right now. How much money does he need to put in the bank so that the bank is at the same point as before, which would be zero. So that would have to be 20. So say uh, number five, what's the opposite of eight? Opposite of eight. Most of these questions, just stick a negative to the front. Stick a negative to the front, then you get B. Now, why is that? Because if you look at a number line, and you get eight here, eight is over here, right? The opposite part of that number line, let's, this, this, would, this would be zero. The opposite part of that number line, the negative part of the number line, so this is the negative, this is the positive. So from here, it goes one to two to blah, blah, blah. But from here on out, it goes from negative one, negative two, and so on. So then you have to, in order for this to be the opposite version, it has to be negative eight. Okay, the temperature number six, the temperature of the air in the afternoon was four degrees Celsius and in the evening it was zero degrees Celsius. What was the temperature change? Very simple. What's, how did it go from here to here? It went down four degrees, right? So then in order to show that, you just put negative degrees, negative four degrees Celsius. So, uh, number eight is the same as number five. I don't think that needs to be explained that much. Um, let's see, number seven. Michael's video game score was 250 points. After a couple of mistakes, he was he marked minus 250 points. So basically, he's saying he started off with 250 points, and then he lost 250 points. What is Michael's overall score now? 250 minus 250. We all know the answer to that. It is zero. Very easy. The altitude of a bird is 60 feet, and the altitude of a fish in the sea is negative 60 feet, which... Uh, Altitude is equidistant from the altitudes of the bird and the fish. So basically, the bird is up here. Uh, that's a terrible drawing of a bird. Uh, and then we have the sea right here. And then we've got a fish. Uh, fish like that. Okay. Now, um, this... 
the distance from here to here is 60. Whoa. Uh, distance from here to here is 60, right? And then the distance from here to here is negative 60. Or it could be 60. Technically, it's 60 because distance cannot be negative. But we'll just say it's negative 60 for now. So what altitude does does do I have to be so that the distance from the bird and my distance from the fish is equal to each other? And uh, this question, you just add these two numbers, 60 and negative 60, to end up with 0. Because if I add 0 right here, then my distance from here to here is the same as the distance from here to here. Because they are uh, exactly like I said. So since there is no really negative distance, this 60 right here is equal to this 60 right here. So technically, if it's distance, this negative 60 is equal to this 60. So that's why the answer would be A, 0 feet. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a nice day.